what you're saying in your hashtag five in the top trends of 2021 is that the dollar which dominates the world may not work out let's have a look uh, we've had of course just talked about the best time to buy property but we could see the decline of the US dollar now what do you mean by that if we look at your data now uh, it looks something like this uh, and this is really really fascinating that there have been these long periods where different currencies have dominated the world and, and uh, you're obviously both a historian and a, a financial and an economist 1450 to 1530 eight years Portugal dominated in terms of the global reserve currency then Spain for 110 years then Netherlands for eight years I didn't know all this then France the, the, the French currency became was the global reserve for 95 years and then 1815 to 1920 it was Britain uh, the British sterling that dominated the world in terms of global reserve currency and then for the last hundred years the United States has uh, the dollar has dominated and become the global reserve currency but as you can see the average is around 94 years and USA is just already at a hundred so going by history you, what you're saying is that that could change and it could may not last much longer as the global reserve currency uh, and moving on from that actually your other other data that kind of uh, kind of supports this why should the US dollar lose its dominance is because the massive massive printing of the US dollar in 2020 it could could printing too many dollars in 2020 threaten the US dollar as a global reserve you're saying that in 1990 to 2000 those 10 years uh, the US printed about a half a trillion dollars per year then in 2000 if we move on to 2020 those 20 years America was printing new uh, dollars of one trillion a year and in this year we have printed five trillion dollars that's five years average of the last uh, 20 years and, and the entire amount printed in 1990 to 2000 that is phenomenal five trillion richer in just yeah. one year so what does this mean I mean you know it sounds a bit kind of uh, distant but you brought it down to what is an alternative one could possibly think of a booming Bitcoin could that be a possible investment and should one look at that as a possible change because this distrust you say in the US dollar is boosting Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies amazingly and if we go through each point the Bitcoin market you say is now 700 billion uh, it wasn't long ago that value is it was like up 300 percent in one year nothing has gone up that fast and if we move on volatility which always was terrifying about the Bitcoin up down up down that key problem you're saying is now coming down and uh, uh, more and more people are accepting payment by Bitcoin which was a real he hesitant earlier and interestingly young people in their 20s and 13s 27 percent of that is almost one in three own bitcoins above 55s only three percent so you know almost one tenth it's a new thing which young people are taking up so it could be a whole new trend now uh, and that could continue into 2021 and onwards is that what you're saying yeah uh I think the data here for me is very fascinating because 20% of all the dollars uh, that are circulation in the world were printed in just one year, 2020. The issue is that many of the central banks have also been printing a lot of money. Uh, now you take the Indian central bank, nearly 10% of all the rupees in circulation were printed in just one year, 2020. So many central banks have been doing this now historically as that graph of mine showed that when one currency would become very extended to there'd be too much central bank printing of that currency and that country would take its reserve currency status for granted some new alternative would emerge in terms of a different currency 
The problem today is that because all central banks have been printing so much money, particularly in 2020, something different had to come up. Nature abhors a vacuum. Something different had to come up. And cryptocurrencies, as they are called, with Bitcoin being the leading example, is emerging as some sort of an alternative. Now, I know there's a lot of speculative mania around Bitcoin and the price has doubled over the last month, which makes me a bit wary about how fast this is rising. But this is a shot across the bow. It's telling central banks around the world that if you keep printing this much amount of money, there will be consequences, there will be growing distrust in currencies, and there will be a yearning for an alternative. And that's what explains this massive increase in Bitcoin. And I find this generational gap to be stunning, which is that a lot of the older people dismiss Bitcoin as being some speculative tech investment, whereas the young people are much more passionate about it